been a little bit sneaky since last time, I'm not going to lie. I'm quite proud of myself. It's not done yet, but if it comes through, it's going to be fantastic. We do have a game to play here against Firenze, we'll get to that in a minute. But, since you were last here, we have gone in for De Vrijl. De Vrijl, De, De Vridge, De Fridge, whatever. One of the best centre-backs probably on the game. We have made a bid, it's been accepted. We've offered him a contract, he liked that. I don't like the release clause, but he wouldn't do anything without it, so it's 24.5 million, you could probably get rid of that in the future by offering him a new deal. But if we get him, this would be a fantastic signing. So I'm very excited to see if that comes through. That only happened today, so we still have a little bit before he'll decide on that one. There are other clubs in after him, that's the big thing. If we go and look, the big teams, Chelsea, Liverpool, Man United, Atletico, PSG, are all interested, but they haven't made bids yet. So I'm hoping it stays that way. We can sneak him before the window opens. We'll get him at the start of January, of course. But we beat the big clubs to him. We will be in a fantastic position. But anyway, we have a game to play. Now, Barbosa picked up an injury in the last game. Seferovic is also injured, so we're really struggling with striker. We're going to have to play Jonas up top. I've tried that a couple of times. He has not performed. So I'm a little bit skeptical, but we are really running low on players. Jimenez just isn't good. I don't want to play him. I'm going to switch these two around here. Uh, Rafa Silva and come out. Salvi will go back in. We just had a game against Feyenoord, the last game in the Champions League. We won that one by a goal to nil, but we stayed in second. Sevilla also won against Anderlecht. And we also, we lost the game in the league. We did lose our last league game, so we're in, we've kind of dropped back again a little bit. Which is not ideal, but we will push on. I don't know why that's advanced playmaker, I don't remember doing that. So, do we have Douglas available? We do. Douglas come back in, get Almeida on to the bench. Right, so this is the team we're going to go with then. Varela, Lopez, Luis L, Douglas, Fecha, Grimaldo, Salvo, Krovanovic, Chervi, Benedetto, and Jonas. So, hopefully, we can return to winning ways here. We squeaked the win against Firenard, who were not the better team for most of the game. We struggled a little bit. Benedetto hit one from about 25 yards in the 89th minute in the top corner. Sometimes your luck your luck turns that way. Sometimes it doesn't. Right, here we go. Back to winning ways in the league we come. So we have this game here. We're going to play, obviously, here against Firenze. There's the Champions League knockout stage draw to come in a couple of days. So we're going to run through that. And then we have a game in the... Other cup, like the League Cup style competition, it's a group stage that starts in. We played one game in that, we had a three-all draw. But apparently Benfica haven't lost in that competition since 2009. So that's quite the pressure to keep that record going. As Salvi hits when it's saved, so it's been a lively start. Nothing go, save, and Jonas, there we go. Jonas gives us the lead, he finally gets a goal. He's put in below par performances the last couple of games, but he's showing up so far in this one. We also changed our penalty taker, he's missed... Two penalties in a row, Jonas. So I've taken him off penalties. Benedetto is now our main penalty taker. Yeah, the last two games you missed. He scored the penalty in the last game he played. We had penalty in each of the last two games, and he missed both of them. So he lost that, right? I'll let myself get too excited about De Vrijl. If he comes in, that will just improve the defense tenfold. He's young. He's good. If nothing else, I'll make profit on him eventually. So I'm definitely too excited about that. Benedetto, oh, that's, that's a rough one. His goal against Feyenoord was wonderful. It was further back than that. He just pinged it. Top corner. Brad Jones, I think, was in goal for Feyenoord. He didn't stand a chance. Oh, Jonas to Benedetto. It was almost, almost in there. Shervy. We're trying to still find ways through. They're defending very compact. They're doing a good job. Yeah, this fantasy team proven hard to break down. Here we go, Salvo to Chervi. There you go. Lovely finish. That was good play. Long build up, but it was well worth it. Got the goal. 2 0. Hopefully we are returning to winning ways here. We could temporarily go top of the league. It's, we did move out to first. Porto are playing, though. I don't imagine they're going to drop points. 
if they do, that'd be great because we are already behind them and they have a game in hand still. And now it's game back on. That's exactly why I want a new center back. All right, half time. We're two on up. I'm not entirely unhappy. I'm not best pleased to have conceded, but it's not the end of the world. We do have the lead. We can still make that count. There is definitely a lot of room for improvement. Not just not in this game, but I mean in the squad in general. We have good players, but we don't have superstars. And you always need one or two stars if you want to push for the you know the bigger prizes. We don't really have those and now it's two two. This is not good at all. We have just dropped another. Okay. Let's go attacking. Let's see if that helps us out. See so look at the we're just falling apart at the back. That's our problem. We do not know how to defend. If we somehow don't win this game, or if we, especially if we lose this game, it will be a big knock on the confidence, which is not what we need, because we're just starting to get full of ourselves again, which is nice. Sharvi has it, plays it out. It's kind of bounced around. Krovanovic is blocked. Is there a legitimate chance to come? Jonas off the bar and cleared away. Ah, get on with a the goal there, but there's plenty of time. It's not time for panic stations just yet. Right, time to switch things up. I'm not going to bring on Jimenez, even though Benedetto's is having a shocker. He's just not worth it. Let's get Rafa Silva, get him into the game. Perhaps. And let's replace Luis Al, because he's playing like a 36-year-old for once. Oh, now, here we go. We're going down to 10. Right, we need to take advantage of this. We're down to 10 men. We have the time. Let's make it count. Grimaldo is into Chervy. Jonas skips around Rafa. Salvio, there we go. Eduardo Salvio. The lead is restored. And we return seemingly to first. It means Porto probably aren't. Actually, you know what? They're not playing yet. I'm getting excited. They're not actually playing yet. All right, let's wrap this up. Grimaldo, Jonas, Silva. Is that... Oh, it's a penalty. Okay, I have no idea what happened. There's been... Why is he taking this? It... Clearly, I put... It's not even going to change because the game doesn't actually work. I love that we always try that feature. It never works. Occasionally, I'll give it a go. Oh, he finishes that one, though. I had full faith in you, Jonas. I always knew you were going to score. Never worried. Oh, uh, what did I... What did I even... Sure... Oh, the penalty taker. Yeah, see, it, doesn't, it changed the penalty taker after he'd taken the penalty, which I think defeats the point of the feature completely. So hopefully they'll fix that sometime. I was very excited when they said they were coming out without changing the penalty taker thing, but I'll be more excited when it actually, you know, changes the penalty taker. Wind down the clock here. This should be the game coming to an end. So we'll have after this, as I say, the Champions League draw. Hopefully we'll hear about Devrile sometime in the next kind of few days before we end the next game. If not, I might just keep going to see if we get a response out of him. That's full time here. We do have the win. It was harder than it should have been. We kind of made it difficult on ourselves. They helped us out by getting a man sent off, but I'll take it. A win is a win. Bump morale up. Get things going. Right, it's draw time. So obviously we did finish second. I don't know who we actually have available to play, but I can't imagine any of them are very friendly. So we'll just see who we get and then forget about it until February. So, okay. Atletico, Manchester United, Real Madrid, Shakhtar, Juventus, and PSG. We can't play Sevilla or Sporting. I assume the game adds that into it. So we shouldn't be able to play Sevilla or Sporting. So let's just set the draw in motion. Shakhtar probably... Well, but definitely the easiest out of those teams. There's no easy tie. Oh, Barcelona, Man United, what a, what a tie. So we'll come out first then as a second place team. We'll be one of, oh, three Portuguese teams when it through. Sporting and Porto made it as well. That's good. That's good news for the league. I'll have a coefficient. Here we go. Benfica will play. Paris Saint-Germain. Wonderful. I'm, I'm thrilled. I'm absolutely delighted with how that has come out. Okay, we will play PSG. So, like I said, let's just pretend that didn't happen and uh, not worry about it until February. 
Right, no news on Devrile before the game, so we'll just kind of go ahead and get on with it. Seferovic is not fit, that's not the end of the world. So we're going to switch things up a little bit here. Let's uh, get some guys Yardell. I'm just going to play him, try and get his more for market value than anything else. I'm trying to get him sold, but I don't know how easy that is going to be. Silva, this is it's not a major competition, this one, so I'm not terribly upset if we don't do particularly well. I want to win, it'll help with the board and stuff. But the board don't actually care about this, so I'm not particularly worried. Let's go with that. So Cesar, Yardell, Ruben Diaz, Douglas, Samari, Silisu, Rafa Silva, Krovanovic, Shervi, Benedetto, and Jonas. So we'll just go ahead and get on with it. Raul Jimenez is leaving the club at the end of January, by the way. He's already agreed to transfer to, I think, somewhere in Russia. So I'm not worried about playing him for any reason whatsoever. Right, we picked up a draw in the first game in this. I, haven't, I don't actually know how this competition goes. I have no idea what happens, how the groups work. So we're just going to play some football and see what happens. Look how empty it is. There's one, two, three. You can probably count the fans in the stadium. If you've got a wide enough view, we could count individually the number of their fans. Oh, Krovanovic with a lovely strike from outside the box. And we take the lead in front of about a few thousand of our fans and about 20 of theirs, by the looks of it. I've never, honestly, on this game, I've never seen the stadium so empty. This is new. Never seen it look like this. No deal, there's two. They don't even sit next to each other, look at them, they don't even want to chat. Part of going to football, it's a social thing, they don't want to talk at all. Oh, they might be happy now though. Yep, 1-1. One, one. That was a good hit, a good strike, a little too easy to get the space, but did a good job finishing that one off. And we're back to square one. Oh dear. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. This is not going to script here, really, at all. Maybe they should always have 20 people turn up to their games and they perform better. It's the pressure. They probably closed the gates just to give it a test. Oh, there we go. Back in it, Jonas. That was well wor well worked. Good ball by Savio. Held it up till people got back on side. Played it in Jonas with the goal and we are level again. Right, let's not piss this one away this time, eh? Sherry pings it in. Oh, Samarius can't get on target. Decent, decent effort. Let's encourage the lads. Try and push forward just before half time. Try and get ourselves back in the front. Would be nice. Here we go. Benedetto hits one. It's blocked. Samarius, lovely finish. Very lucky to get the ball in the first place, but he did well when he got it. That's been a first great first half, hasn't it? Oh, there's more people on this side of the stadium, isn't there? Maybe they just, I don't know. A game like this should hopefully encourage them to come through the turnstiles. Kovac ah. Kovanovic not quite connecting there. I'd pay 20 quid to watch this. Five goals in the first half, that's not bad. I wonder if the concessions managed to cope with the Huge rush of people at half time. I wonder if they ran out of pies. There's nothing worse than when a football stadium runs out of pies at half time. Especially when it's not even a big game, there's the normal number of people come in. Oh, sorry, we're out of pies. How? How does that even happen? Know your supply and demand. Nobody wants to eat a sausage roll at the football. Like, what if we just we ran out of balls? One of them popped, we only had one. Oh, sorry, the game's off, we ran out of balls. Can you imagine the uproar? Probably not as big as running out of pies, to be honest, but... Yeah, that's what's been Jonas, so off the bar, that was a chance to end the game there. It was a good effort. Let's just see this through. I don't like the highlight. It's a little too close to, you know, our goal. Here we go, that's better. Oh, Krovinovic getting confused by colour there. Here we go, Salvio. Nice run, Benedetto, there we go. Nerves are settled. You can sit back and relax, the game is over. Not that I know what this means, still, with this competition. I don't know what's going on. I might have to take a look at it. Or not, it's probably more fun to just see where it takes me. Uh, oh, okay, 4-3. So our defense still 
pretty terrible. Thankfully, we can score goals too. Uh, please say this is just the end. Game's been running on long lately. There we go, full time. It was a good game. I bet there are dozens of people in that town that support this team that wish they had bothered to turn up because that was a fantastic game of football. I'd be mad if I was you know, just sitting at home playing football manager knowing this game had happened and I missed it because I thought, oh, it was just a silly little cut, but it'll be terrible. Learn their lesson on that one. Right, we are going to end it there. Uh, hope you enjoyed it. Like, comment, subscribe, all that fun stuff. Hopefully, we'll have news on our marquee signing by the time we return. So keep your eyes peeled for that one. Again, hopefully, still be in a job by then.